Welcome to Indie Insights. My name is Highsight, and this is Onion Force. I'm really digging this laid-back music right here. It's a very nice opening with a nice background panning like that. Very good looking. Very nice. It really sets the tone. So, we got three options here. We got play options and new game. Well, let's look at the options real quick. What kind of stuff can we do here? So, it looks like this game was built with mobile in mind. Why do I say that? Well, because you're using a finger instead of a mouse. But that's okay. Nothing wrong with building with mobile in mind. That just means you're trying to reach all the platforms. Let's go ahead and start a new game and see what happens. Oh boy, okay. I, I, this, I really do like the way this fairy looks, but I'm just trying to figure out how can I do a voice for this character. I feel like it needs to be, like, whispery, or breathy, but also high-pitched, and I just do not have that range, but you know I'm gonna try anyway, so just prepare for the embarrassment now. Hi! Welcome to the game! My name is Lady D, and I'll be your host this evening. I will show you everything you need to know. Really digging the fact that she's actually animated, between her wings and her eyes flickering like that. Very nice. Very nice. If you listen to what I have to say, you might have a chance to survive this adventure. If you ignore my instructions, you will die. Okay, no time to waste. Let's get going. <laughs> alright, alright. I, I don't know, I'm feeling like with these facial like, facial looks and everything, it should probably be more like uh, country. So I could do like, uh, where are you directing, uh, directing the bloodshed this time? Except more feminine, but I can't do that. I don't know. Anyway, choose your difficulty. We got easy, medium, and hard. Let's just start with easy, I guess. A warm-up round, eh? Who would you like to send into battle? Oh, well, we got the warrior, the bowman, and the wizard. I have no idea what any of these do. I am th being thrown in with no clue what's happening, but I am always a fan of badass magic, so we're going to go with the badass magic. Low strength, but defense and defense. So, okay, let's go back here for a second right here. You can probably present a lot of these information, like a lot of this information about these characters on this screen instead of having to go into a second one, right? So if you could actually have like above these characters, just kind of shift these down a bit and kind of expand a little window above these characters with this kind of information, even if it was just the stats, and then you go in and then you see this stuff again, but with more details, I think that'd be a good way to go. Now, of course, this is a also made for mobile game. So asking for tool tips is probably not going to happen, unfortunately. Tool tips would be a great solution to that problem right there, but not going to happen, most likely. So low strength of defense, but makes up for it with powerful ranged attack and does area damage. What's equip all about? Absolutely nothing. I might want to gray that out when it's worthless. All right. So, uh, yeah, let's give it a shot. right -oh. Feels weird that I have to click next after that. Wizard! First things first, let's move around. It's simple, just click wherever you want to go. Oh, cool. All like, uh, <laughs> all fire path I leave behind and everything. That's pretty sweet. Now, the first thing I want to do there is actually I tapped where I wanted to go, because I, uh, I know this ain't going to be a big deal in mobile games, but whenever I play a game like this, I like to have a high action per minute, right? I like to click very often and very wildly. So, that's kind of weird looking when I do that, isn't it? Uh, that's kind of more of a my mindset thing, and it's probably something I'll get over eventually. But she keeps on moving whenever I stop. That's a little weird. You'd, you'd think if I click somewhere, that's where she'd go. But she just kind of keeps moving in that direction afterwards. Now if I click... Oh, I guess I just used energy? Okay. I'm guessing that's energy. Do I get it back? Hopefully soon. Alright, so I do like the destructible environment quite a bit, the way everything's kind of just breaking down into debris like that. Very cool. Now, I did not read what Miss Fairy Pants was uh, telling me before, and I'm probably going to die because of that, as she told me before. But I have a feeling it has something to do with this guy over here. Oh, here we go. This is our king. Our main goal is to protect him from enemies. Sorry. This is our... No, I'll do it next time. To combat enemies, simply run into them. Here comes something. I didn't get to read that whole thing. I ran into you. Or I could just do this. Yeah! So apparently I take damage to deal damage if I want to run into them, or I have to utilize energy. Which means I don't take damage, but I don't seem to regain energy at any quick pace either. Oh, here we go. You might want to, while we're doing the tutorial stuff, you might want to have the uh, exclamation points brought up as an off-screen indicator. So there's an off-screen indicator of where to go. Like right here, I didn't know that there was going to be an exclamation point here. I had to kind of roam around to find it. Just a little something. 
All right, so what do we got here? Oh, hang on, stuff, stuff's happening. I did not build nearly quick enough. Now I'm gonna die soon if I ain't careful. Sniper hut, there we go. So this game definitely encourages you not to be the center of attention too much because if you try to do too much, you'll probably die very quickly. You're doing great. Let's finish up here. Okay, well, I'm not doing that great because I'm pretty close to dead. Now, one thing that is a little odd is the fact that I both move forward where I'm aiming... Okay, I have to probably kill myself now to save the king. Yep, I'm dead. And then there's a recovering period that's not going to work out. Pretty sure I just lost the tutorial. Hooray! Uh, let's take out the bowman, I guess. Okay, while they're recovering, I can do something else. How do I just... There we go. Anyway, moving and attacking are kind of the same beast as what I'm getting at here, which is kind of an issue. So what ends up happening is I'm aiming in one area that I want to attack, and then I want to stop attacking, so I let go, and then I spring forward towards the enemy if they're not quite dead yet. It's kind of a weird movement system. The pathing's a little off. Now, again, I know we're, re we're trying to make this for touch controls as best we can, and that, it, that does work, I think, for mobile pretty well. But we are on a keyboard, and we have WASD that we can work with here. I would love to at least have the option to move around with WASD and just attack with left click. All right, so let's try the easy of the next level. This should be a snap, as I said last time. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, let's try Warrior this time. I think he can take a better, better beating, but he has no ranged attack. Fair enough. I am interested in these equipments. That's going to be kind of cool. Ah, so this is where we can upgrade our towers now. So we have three onions. But I think we need stars, which I didn't earn any of in that last level. Maybe I should have earned some stars, but let's just move on with what we got. See how that goes. Warrior in! Let's go! So he just, yeah, he just starts off moving in that direction. It's really kind of a, in a lot of ways, you can think of this like ping pong. It's like, you just, you point in the direction you want them to go, and then they'll bounce around and hopefully get there eventually. Yeah, let's get that snipe, sniper hut there. Now let's get a healing tent here, so... I can hopefully heal myself up. Ah, critical! Nice. Alright, now we had a lot of numbers overlapping on each other right there. Play aggressively to build up multiplayer, multiplier and high scores. There we go. Now that I have the medical tent, I feel a lot more confident in my ability to ram into things. And that is pretty sweet in and of itself. Especially for the warrior. I'm feeling like the warrior is probably top tier class right now. Ah, get out of here, you. Bumpy, bumpy. In a lot of ways, I do kind of like the bumping mechanics. It works better for this character than any other character, though, because if I'm using a ranged character, I'm obviously going to try and use the ranged stuff, and I'm, I don't want to bump into people. But it works very nicely for this particular character. Though I will say, the fire particles do get a little insane after a while. A little over the top, I think. You can probably just dumb them down a bit. Not even a lot. They look nice. It's just not nice when, you're, when they're happening constantly. Here comes a fat one! Alright, fatty. Let's do this. I ram into you. I guess charging up doesn't really matter for him. Same damage no matter what speed you're at. Feels kind of like a waste. It'd be nice if he did have a charge attack. And maybe he gets, gets one later. I don't know. Yeah, there we go. Onion! Hey, where'd I find you? Get out of here, you. Right, let's build something else here. Let's get us a sniper hut. We're on the lookout for onions and hearts. They're very useful. So uh, break down all the stuff, try to find goodies in them. Very nice. One thing I need to note, I'm digging this music. Again, the whole soundtrack has a very distinct feel to it. It's very, like, goofy. And it really fits the, the look of the game. Very well. In a lot of ways, you can actually see that as a uh, an improvement on the overall aesthetic. And that's very well done. Now, as for the attacking sound... Oh, hey, look at that. There's some kind of treasure here, huh? Hey, level up. Wooden short sword. Do I get to equip that now, or I gotta wait until the next uh, go around? Let's go ahead and... Oh, we're already healed. Sweet. So it looks like we might have uh, levels that persist throughout this game. Very nice. Oh, that gets kind of dangerous. If you start really bumping into enemies and they bounce you all around into other enemies, you could definitely die accidentally. Uh, I might... I think the king might have to take a couple, couple, couple of lickings here. Come on. I just want to get in the hut. Just want to get in the hut and stay in the hut. There we go. Alright, gotta move now. Didn't get nearly as much health as I would have wanted to. I had a lot of trouble. I was kind of struggling there trying to get into that hut. I got into it a couple of times, and then I kind of bounced out of it, and then I got into it again, and then I bounced out of it. There seems to be some kind of cooldown on going back into it. That's pretty dangerous. And again, that probably just comes down to the fact that I'm clicking too much. Alright, let's go ahead and bounce on in. Ping pong! There we go. 
It'd actually almost be nice if maybe there was a confirm button on the hut, right? What if I click the hut? Oh, hey, that looks like something for my bowman. I'm gonna die. But this is my best way of attacking. Come on, heal up, heal up, heal up, heal up. Quicker than that. I should set up another medical tent somewhere if I can. I need that wooden sword equipped. I really wish I could have equipped it now. It felt very gratifying. No killing my king, only I can do that. Lucky, yay. Don't know what that means. It's like a critical, but luckier. All right, we won. We didn't get all the money, unfortunately. But I don't think that matters. I think the money's only really important to this part. All right. So I got one star out of six. Is that because I... Oh, uh, yeah, because you have to do the harder difficulties to get those. I'm actually confused why I didn't get the star for this level. I did beat it, didn't I? Who knows? Uh, well, options was not what I was looking for. All right, let's see. Let's try this again on easy, because I feel like the tutorial wasn't the actual level itself. So let's just get another star, and let's use that so we can level up our stuff a bit. Kind of encourages going back to grind, but I'm actually okay with that. I'm going to stick with the warrior and get him that sweet wooden sword. Plus five to attack, yes please. Very nice. And what I will do is I'll equip the bowman while I'm here, right? Now I'm understanding why you're not just starting the game up. It's because you can play as any of these at any, any of these guys anytime you want. So... The only thing is, it didn't remember right there. I went in to equip the bowman, and after I did that, I said that I didn't want to play with him. And then the warrior, it forgot that I selected him. Maybe you just have a button down here. Instead of going into a second menu, this will kind of reduce your click miles. Maybe if you can get a button here, like the play play is this guy button, I guess you could say, right? You click that, and that's who you'll go in with. Maybe even make it a checkbox or something, right? Or a radio button. You get a one here, one here, one here. You just click which one you want, and then go in so you don't have to go into the second menu every time. So, he's got his stuff equipped, the other guy's got his stuff equipped, I think we're good to go. Let's hit it. Oh yes, this stuff. So let's upgrade our towers. Uh, sniper hut would probably be helpful, but considering I keep getting hurt a lot, and I like relying on myself, we'll upgrade the medical tent. And I do like the idea of spending the stars you earn for being awesome on this. What is this? Some onions for a power up or two. I have enough for the tornado. Send off a tornado that will rip through enemies and anything else it comes in contact with. The only thing I don't know is if this is a one-time consumable or a permanent thing. But I'm going to take it anyway. It looks like it's a permanent thing. Alright, so we got the weapons equipped. So let's check this out. Warrior in! Alright. So is this just going to repeat the tutorial? If so, then I'm really confused why I didn't get the star before. But I totally want the star. It must be a bug. Alright, so I've looked around. Also, there is zoom in and zoom out. I completely forgot about that. It tells you to pinch to zoom in here, uh, but yeah, mouse wheel. It actually does tell you mouse wheel here. Alright. Oh, hey, there was an off-screen indicator that time. There wasn't before. And right after I complained about that. Why is the king so pissy? He seems like a real... mean guy. Alright, let's see right here. Let's kill his gel. Boom! Done. Nailed it. So I don't get why he has a yellow meter, right? I don't get... Can he only attack a certain amount of times for some reason? I think that'd just be his health that would matter, right? Uh, let's just go with the medical tent here. Let's see how much quicker that saves things. Wow, that looks way cooler. So it looks like tents and stuff all... When they upgrade, they actually have a different look to them. Very nice little bit of polish right there. But one thing I did notice is my, my knight leveled up, but... Ooh, cool. My knight leveled up, but he never really looked any different. He doesn't really have to, I suppose, but... It'd be kind of cool if he actually had visual uh, progression. Also, that doesn't look like a wooden sword. Maybe if it was just the equipment. Just something to kind of make your character look more awesome as he goes. This tornado thing is awesome. Perfect victory. Two onions. All right. Let's do it. So, not bad. Uh, that was a lot quicker that time around. Let's go ahead and jump to level 3, and we can't do medium or hard until we unlock easy. Fair enough, I suppose. Hey, you can't... Okay, you can't call me a wimp and not give me the option to be less of a wimp. I wanted to be less of a wimp. You didn't let me. Damn you, Fairy D. Unleash the power of the sun. Alright, so we got another star here. Let's give it to the sniper hut, I guess. Never hurts to have more damage. So, it was a one-time consumable in the sense that it only lasted that level. And now I feel like I wasted those onions, but whatever. It'd be kind of cool if you mentioned somehow, somewhere, that for this level, like, trade me some onions for a power-up for this level. You know, make sure it's known that that's only going to last one level, that you're spending your onions on something for one level. I am totally going to take another one of these, though, because that was awesome last time. Alright. 
Stars are awarded based on performance, I see. So you have to do a certain certain amount of good in order to actually get a star. Instead of it just being... Oh, nope, didn't want to press that. Oh, no. How do I get out of this? Oh, cancel. This giant cancel button. I just tried to touch off, right? I just tried to touch off of everything. And that didn't really work. I'll just kill these guys. So it looks like every time I attack now, the tornado goes off. Which is pretty cool, but it seems almost like OP. Let's have a sniper right here. Oh, you're moving in quick there, Jumpy. See, I'm just trying to click off it, but for whatever reason, like, the most important thing right there is to be able to get out whenever you need to. That's very vital, because you could be dying or something, or your king could be dying, I suppose, and you just can't click off of this one menu. Like, if I try to click off there, no, I want to kill him, wait, no, 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 no. I have to get that cancel button. Eh, yeah, knock him back in there. There we go. So the Stone Age. Or at least the Stone Hut. Lucky, sweet. Anyway, those numbers, like I was saying before, do seem to overlap a lot. You might want to try to get some kind of spread variance on their, their leaving, I guess you say. They're, they're moving out. A little bit of spread variance might help out in the... Uh... Wait, is Mike? Hey, how'd you guys get over there? Hey, how did that happen? Come on, move. I keep clicking there like it has pathfinding. It's bumper cars. I was wondering what that sound was. It's a very odd sound. So again, we're looking more into the whole sound design thing right there. I don't feel like that sound really fit the idea of your king being under attack. You're kind of already doing the cartoony look, right? So get like a cartoony horn or something like, you know, when your king's under attack. Something really, uh, really, I guess you could say funny and also alarming. All right, those new guys are orange gubs. Jubs, orange jubs, not gubs. Yeah, they're kind of kind of doing their own thing. Out of the way. They move real quick, too. Everybody's moving real quick now. Gotta buy more stuff. Here, sniper hut. And maybe even get a medical tent here, just in case I end up uh, getting over here. They're a delicacy in the east. <laughs> I do enjoy her, her banter. Her banter is quite good. Though I find sometimes it goes away quicker than it needs to, and sometimes it stays longer than it needs to. It'd be nice if maybe you could just, I don't know, touch her dialogue box and then have it go away. Touch your dialogue box. Oh, yeah. Oh, my yellow stuff's gone. I don't know what that means, though. Other than the fact that, hey, level up. I was going to say I'm dying, but I'm not. Looks like we're about... Looks like we're about finished here. Lucky. So lucky. Well, let's just finish it off with uh, more sniper huts. I feel like the sniper huts in their current state are completely ineffective. Look at how much damage they're doing. It's not even enough to stop one slide. I feel like this game is really dependent more on me doing the work than any of the towers really contributing, aside from the medical tent. The medical tent is definitely contributing because it's enabling me to do more. And that's not inherently bad. If you're making a game like this, you don't want your player to be bored. But you also kind of depend on your towers to at least contribute a bit, you know what I'm saying? A bit more than nothing. Like, I'm actually gonna... This next level, I'm gonna try to set up as many towers as I can. As many just sniper towers. And see how they contribute by comparison to me. So, apparently you can get duplicates of items. Let's drop this one. Through the copper longsword. And there we go. Let's see how that goes. I do enjoy the fact that they level up, though. Oh, hey, we got a bomb tower now. Maybe this will change things. Let's upgrade it. Just make sure it's real good. Powerful bomb that uh, damages enemies. Slow but powerful. All right. Let's go ahead and hit it. Uh, not enough for the tornado. We're going tornado list this time. It's raining? Oh no, what does that actually mean for me? Anything? Is that a gameplay thing, or is that just awesome looking? Because it actually does look really good. Does it splash when I step on it? Yeah, it does. Beautiful. Beautiful. So the actual rain effect is obviously just rain on top of the screen. It's not actually falling on the map, it looks like. Or if it is, it's just kind of, yeah, the occasional, like, splash down or something. Which looks really fine, honestly. When it's raining, you might see lightning. Crap, it is gameplay affecting. Hopefully not badly. Right, let's set up a bomb tower. And next up, we'll set a medical tent. Oh, like that kind of lightning. Now, you might want to set up some kind of a default medical tent in every level, because... Without one, you know you're going to have to build one eventually. It's kind of a necessity. You're going to either need your power-up back or your health back if you're playing this character. So, at least give the player a freebie in that sense, I would think. Hmm, the bombs seem rather ineffective. They kind of knock them back a little bit, but they're actually knocking them forward in some cases, which is terrifying for me. 
So, yeah, one thing I'm noticing is I'm walking into these build zones quite a bit without having the money to actually pay for anything. Oh, onion. And then I'm just kind of stuck in that menu while I'm trying to fight. Like, sometimes enemies will bounce me into it, and then I'm all sad. I want that heart. That heart didn't help at all. But I feel like I'm definitely fighting against enemies who can move much quicker than I can. And I have very little, like, resistance to that in the beginning. And the control is a little tricky. Like I said, it's a lot like ping pong. A new enemy approaches. I'm not even ready to fight any enemy right now. I'm not even over there yet. So does this mean I'm going double time? No, now I'm going double time. Let's try to get Sniper Hut in there. What is this thing, even? Yeah, the tower's... Oh, hang on. tower's actually doing something now. It, it actually did a decent amount of damage to that snail thing. All right, while I'm dying, I'm defending on, I'm depending on my towers, so... All right, let's see how they can do on their own for a little while while I collect, right? Lucky. So, the, n none of the towers were able to kill any of these guys. Three relatively low-level enemies. Whereas I can kill them in pretty much one hit. Kind of unfortunate. Alright, let's back it up there again. They're an armor type, which means they're weak against bombs. Ah, uh, okay, so that's where the bombs come in. The bombs are a necessity in order to weaken them, so at least I can kill them. Or can I just kill them flat out? I really haven't tested this. I can just kill them flat out. That was kind of, that would have been a really cool idea if the bombs themselves could be used to, like, weaken them so at least I can finish them off. Like, there's, it's one thing being effective against an enemy, but it's another thing if that enemy actually needs to be hit by that so they can be hurt at all. Nice little thing you can do right there. Overall, I do like the cartoony look. I do think it's a nice look for the game. But I do worry that it feels too much like a mobile game to do well on Steam. It could do perfectly fine in the mobile market. I'm not questioning that whatsoever. Entirely possible. I can see this being a fun time for uh, somebody who's just looking for a quick little game to uh, to play in their free time. But I do worry if you're if you're trying to target both markets, that these controls really won't feel that good for for Steam players. And people are going to know immediately it's really more targeted towards the mobile markets. Energy ball. What's this do? Emit a mysterious slow-moving ball of energy can hit the same enemy multiple times. Sure, let's try it. But I definitely do appreciate the overall look and, f like, aesthetics of the game. Especially the music aesthetic. You went really... You did really good with the music design of this game. The sound design, I don't know. It feels like it's lacking a little bit. There are some sounds that just feel out of place or not like what I was expecting. Oh, there we go. Alright, let's uh, bomb that, I guess. And can I afford a medical tent? Not yet. We'll learn that soon enough. At the very least, if the bombs knock them back, I feel like that'd be really handy. Can't quite put your finger on it. I missed before what you were saying. Why can't you put your finger on it? Something seems familiar, I assume? Medical hut, go! But overall, the, the ping pong feel, uh, the... I guess you could almost say pool. It almost feels like shooting pool. It is kind of a feel you get used to the more you go. But something's dangerous here. Oh, boy. Something's dangerous here. But I do feel like there are some aspects that you might want to try to move away from when it comes to the design, especially of the UI, I would say. I would say for the UI, uh, for example, going into this hutch, just touching the hutch should get me into it. I shouldn't be going into it if I just touch here and I bounce into it, which in that case I didn't, but usually I do, like if I do that. There we go. No, okay. I guess it's just the building. So basically, do what you did there, but with the buildings. So I touch it, and I go in. What if I just touch near it? I also go in. Oh, hey, what are those things? Probably should have been listening to her. As for the, uh, as for the attack sound for the night, I feel like it's not quite what I was expecting. It sounds more like I'm getting hit than I'm attacking. Especially because the sound shares similarities to the getting hit sound of the king. Now, it feels, uh, admittedly, it feels pretty odd. It feels almost offsetting to have to spend HP to attack, considering attacking, me attacking, is actually really important. The tower is not doing as much as I do. It's a beholder. We're screwed. And again, I do appreciate her remarks. They are quite nice. So where is this beholder? I could probably kill it, most likely. These guys look like, uh, look like Kool-Aid guys. Little Kool-Aid giblets. Oh yeah! I'm in pain! Okay, okay, we can do this. Jump in the medical tent and fight with all your strength. Let's get a sniper out right in here first. Oh, you know what? I should have definitely gone in the medical tent. Oh, mistakes were made. I did not realize how low I was. 
There we go. Good old medical tent. Oh, boy. I'm going to be hurt a lot by the time I get to the beholder. Alright, we definitely need to get back to that medical tent. Thankfully, the bombs are actually knocking it back. That's been very helpful. It's actually been knocking him back a lot. He has, hasn't really gotten anywhere. I wonder if that's a pathfinding there. No, he's actually going straight for me. Oh, that's different. I didn't even notice. He's actually shooting fire at me. Can I avoid the fire? The thing is, it's hard to tell he's shooting at me because the fire is the same color as the fire that I produce every time I attack. Uh-oh. All right, let's do level one bowman, who I forgot to equip with better equipment. He's got, like, somewhat better equipment, but not much better. All right, so I want to attack here. Attack, but don't move. There we go, he's down. I, I think he leveled up, sweet. That was intense! Alright. And then the levels move on. We got a whole new range of levels here. Ice built. Very nice. But we're gonna end it there, I think. It definitely is a very nice looking game. It definitely plays really well. And for the mobile market, I think it'll do great. But for a Steam release, I feel like it'll be just a little bit lacking, you know? Mainly in the control department. But overall, it is a very fun game, and I would recommend checking it out if you're looking for a fun mobile game. I know as soon as it comes out on mobile, I'm probably going to grab it myself. So this has been uh, this has been Onion Force, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for the submission.